Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my makeup, but I also want to give you an update as to why I haven't uploaded a video in months. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it while you guys watch me play with makeup. Hey Bubby, do you want to come up? Come on then. You want a cat? Come on then. I think the last video that I uploaded was a vlog where I mentioned that I was going to go Christmas shopping. Um, I did go um, and I did vlog but I deleted the footage and all of the vlogs that I have made before Christmas because I never got around to editing them. So what happened? <laughs> I guess that's the big question. Um, At the time I wasn't doing very well, but I was still able to do some things. Um, you know, I was still able to get up and yes, I was struggling, but I was I was doing okay um, compared to what was to come. I had a meeting with Web, um, I think a couple of days after I had gone into town to do the Christmas shopping. Um, unfortunately I was let go which was really hard to come to terms with um, but ultimately it was the right thing I mean I was thinking I'll come back to work in a couple of weeks I'll come back to work next week you know I was I was thinking that I would just get through it and, and I'd be back at work before I knew it so yeah leading up to Christmas I felt worse and worse um, I was having more bad days than good days. At one point I was in the acute assessment unit at our local hospital maybe one to two times a week uh, for fluids because of how bad my POT symptoms were and not being able to eat or drink very much at all, which I think I touched on in the, in the vlogs that I made. Um, yeah, it, it just sort of got worse and worse and worse from there. I mean, I also um, dislocated my shoulder the day after we went shopping and there was a whole big thing about that and how I might have had to have surgery to correct it but then nobody wanted to touch me or do any surgery because of my Ehlers-Danos syndrome so yeah it was a pretty rough time and as the days went by I just I just felt worse and worse and worse and ultimately um, on the 18th of December, after another day of sitting in the AAU, hooked up to fluids, uh, my doctor decided that I needed to be admitted so that he could monitor me whilst he adjusted my medications. Um, you know, I'd, I'd had, I think, three or four bags of fluids and I just wasn't doing any better. My doctor just said, look, I can send you home and try you on this medication but I'd rather admit you and keep an eye on you um, because you're so sensitive to changes. So that was what he did. I mean at the time I was in what my doctor calls a complete autonomic meltdown so I couldn't stand for more than a few seconds letting him walk and I'd been spending most of my time on my mum's sofa unable to do anything or in the AAU. Um, I was having complete hives, um, complete body reactions, um, I was coming, I was having full body hives reactions, you know, I was just allergic, having allergic reactions left, right and centre, I couldn't get calm, couldn't breathe, my heart rate was constantly erratic, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't sleep, I'd have like shaking attacks, I'd have, um, funny turns where my heart rate would just go out of control so yeah I was doing really badly and that's why my doctor decided to admit me in order to adjust my medications <clears throat> spent a week on the short stay ward um, being told every day that I was going to be going home the next afternoon um, yeah well that never happened until 
a week later. Um, it was pretty miserable. My body, like I said, my body's really sensitive to changes, um, especially with medications, and that's why my doctor wanted to monitor me. But he and I didn't think it would take more than a day or two to get things under control, because previously, you know, it's been okay after a couple of days. He made a lot of changes to my medications, like pretty much all of them have been changed. Um, and now I take a lot, a lot of medications. Um, but yeah, he felt that I was stable enough to be discharged on the night before Christmas Eve, which was great because the whole week I was just like, I do not want to spend Christmas in hospital. I don't want to be here. I want to get home. And every morning when the ward doctor would come round, I would be having a turn, like breakfast would set me off. Like if I tried to eat breakfast, I would start having a turn and then I'd go into a meltdown again. And the ward doctor would come round and I'd just be crying and you know, like having a bit of a time of it. And I'd be saying to him, I just want to go home. Can you discharge me? And he wasn't comfortable with it. So he'd say, we can't send you home, not like this. So yeah. The whole week I just wanted to go home and I didn't want to be in in for Christmas. Now I still wasn't very well when I was discharged but my POTS doctor just basically said look let's get you out of here you'll be just as comfortable at home and if there's any problems you can come back in after Christmas. So yeah I couldn't walk on my own still um, I had to be wheeled to the car and then my mum and my boyfriend had to like carry me around places um, but you know I couldn't wait to sleep in my own bed and you know I just wanted to spend Christmas with my family so gradually I was gradually I was able to walk more and stand for longer I mean it, it took a while but I've made a lot of progress and have even been able to go shopping without much trouble. I mean, heck, when I wrote these notes, my biggest achievement was that I had been able to go and do the food shop. Since then, I have been on a night out for my birthday. I have been on holiday with my family and not spent the whole time in bed. Um, we just went camping and it was, it was great. Um, so yeah, I've managed to be doing a whole lot since then and it's just felt like an up and up you know it, it it's felt like I've just made so much progress which has been amazing um, and you know I'll forever be grateful to my doctor for how much he's helped me before Christmas uh, for how much he has helped me like I words cannot describe how thankful I am to have to be lucky enough to have a doctor that specialises in POTS and rare conditions that I suffer from in my area. He's the only doctor in the southwest that knows anything about POTS. Um, so, you know, people come from far from all parts of the southwest to see him. Some people come from as far as London because they can't get in to see the doctors that specialise in POTS in London. So you know, he's a very busy man and the fact that he took time out of his personal day to come and discharge me was just crazy. But not only that, just all the ways that he's helped me since I've been under his care, I, I can't, I can't express how enough how thankful I am for that. I mean, before Christmas, I thought that I was never going to get any better with the way that I was doing and now I feel like wow the only way is up like seriously I feel like I could even eventually go back to work again and that that's amazing so yeah my health is actually manageable <laughs> at the moment and it's been great being able to leave the house and be normal for a few hours at a time, uh, sometimes even a whole day. It's just been fantastic. I'm still having bad days here and there, like um, the last three days I've been in bed, but 
you know, it's, it's been easier to recover. Um, I'm waiting on some referrals to deal with other health issues that I'm having, but they're nowhere near as bad as the POTS issues that I was dealing with. Um, so I'm hoping that things just keep on improving and that I can get my independence and my life back on track. That's the goal. Um, April, March and April were really hard. I don't really want to get into it too much, um, but a family member passed away so there's been a lot of stress and I've been a little bit low to be honest. Um, I'm also dealing with the DWP and job centre and money problems but I'm trying to stay positive and keep on doing things that I enjoy. Um, I've just turned 25 <laughs> um, so I can't believe where the time has gone to be honest like seriously when when did I get here? Um, I went out and did some karaoke with my friends, had a couple of drinks, really enjoyed myself and you know it was it was great and then the next day I got in my mum's van and we went down to Cornwall and I spent a week in Cornwall and it was just amazing so you know things things have got better um, so yeah all that is to say I was gone for a while things were rough but I'm better now and I didn't want to just upload a random video without giving you guys some sort of update. Um, I do have a few videos that I want to film as well um, but at this point I can't promise when I'm going to upload them or, or how often I'm going to upload just you know if you're subscribed then you should get the notification that I've uploaded a video and you know hopefully those videos will be a lot more upbeat and cheerful than this video and my vlogs. Anyway, I hope everyone is well or as well as they can be and I just want to say if you're going through a hard time I know it's easier said than done but please try to stay positive think of the things that you are achieving rather than the things that you aren't achieving and with that said I will see you guys in my next video bye